Hello again and welcome to another episode of Rain Plays. Today we are at Cottage AMC in the countryside neighborhood of Windenburg. And today we are taking care of Ulrike Faust, my gas. I had to do that <laughs> because I could not pronounce their names. But uh, Mike does not show up as German, it shows up as Dutch. So that's why you got a different sound. Anyway, they're the free spirits living in this little cottage. Uh, Mike Haas is an author. She's a snob, a bookworm, and creative. Olika Faust is an artist. She's creative, a perfectionist, and an art lover. They're just roommates. AMC means at the lake in German, in case anybody's interested. Uh, I was a little, a little upset that I had to, or, I, well, did I have to? Yes, I did. I was a, a little reluctant to get rid of this place, but when I walked inside, I'm like, no, can't feel too bad. So the rebuild is a little similar to what you see now, but I think I brightened it up. I think they, I gave them a little bit more space and a nicer place to live. And as usual, I got stuck with the windows and the doors and um, the layout reminded me of the bear house, the bears, Candy and Yuki, but on a much smaller scale. And this floor one thing, the level, uh, how, how do you say this, wall size the first wall size I cannot stand it and then I don't know why but well I may be in keeping with the original house I don't know but I left it at ground level I didn't even raise it up everything looks so humongous I mean when that thin woman walks in here her head practically scrapes the ceiling I just don't like this I, I prefer the second height and well, like I said, and I, I felt a little guilty about taking this away and giving it my own spin, but I should have done more. I think a second wall height would have been so much nicer. Got the windows right on the ceiling. And if you don't, if you lower them down, they hit the floor and ugh. It's a creepy height meant only for like greenhouses and basements maybe, but I don't even like the first height in a basement because it's just, you're going to hear my daughter's chair. I'm sorry. I told her I was recording, but she probably forgot. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I. I think I did a good enough job for them. I just hope everybody who's watching this agrees. It's not, it's not horrible, you know? I guess when you're looking at this, you could say, wow, it does need improvement. Actually, in their bio that I showed you earlier, that's exactly what it says. Um, oh dear. Bookishmaki. Did I say that right? Makey and artsy Ulrich aren't materialistic, but even these two roommates admit they could use a few upgrades around the house. Will Mikey be able to sell a few stories or will Ulrich finally put out a painting that meets her exacting standards? For whatever reason, I got the impression they were both artists. So, uh, as usual, it didn't dawn on it, it. I didn't realize it until after the walkthrough and started making the video. I'm like, wait a minute, she's a writer. So, you're not going to see it, but I went back in and gave uh, 
Maki, Mikey. I took away that um, artist still life thing and the easel and I gave her a bookcase and a nice seating area and the ghost writer computer instead of the laptop. Felt bad. I kind of wanted to give them both a makeover because Ulrich is a badass and Mikey, as you can see, it was funny. Um, before I started the build, she was just standing there moping around, so I made her go jogging and then I started doing the building and when she came back, well she didn't come back. She pooped out about halfway and it said she was exhausted. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? So I had to go and find her. I, I clicked on the um, camera mode and it still wouldn't take me to her. She was that far away. She, she was like clear across the other side of this neighborhood. So I kept having to kind of step her home. And by that I mean, I if I clicked the front porch and said go here, it would have taken her an hour. So I had to hand, hand hold her. <laughs> and then she was just sick. She was sick for the rest of the time that I was with these girls. She kept getting dizzy, she had an upset stomach, she was exhausted. I'm like, oh my gosh, all I did was send you on a little <laughs> She was in desperate need of some uh, healthy lifestyle. So if I did play these two, I would whip her into shape real quick. But I was talking about uh, makeover. I would. If it didn't turn out as stereotypical as EA, you know, EA translations. Because I wouldn't want to slim Mikey up right away. I, I would want her to go through the grind. So that would be fun. But uh, Ulrich, she's covered in tattoos and she's got that dark hair and the dark makeup. And I'm like, well, if I change her. I guess what I could do is, well, she even had the edgy clothes, so I don't know. I gave you the before and the afters here because I didn't have too much to show you. I hope you don't mind. It's not, it's not good and it's not bad. I like the little landscaping bits that I gave her them as well. There was one in front and one in the back. But I left this side of the house open because it faces the lake. They're actually surrounded by water. It's a really, I was surprised at how pretty this place turned out to be. I do hope you don't mind, but after this I take you on a little tour of their world. It's very, very pretty. So this is the after tour. I just had too much trouble with the uh, um, camera yesterday. I think it's because there were so many people over yesterday and they were all on using the internet, phones, laptops, the computer, the TV was going and the phone kept ringing off the hook and it just, I don't know if you noticed in the first part of the build, I had to stop through twice and then I ended up having to restart my computer for the third one and then it was still pretty choppy but this was another one where I kept doing it undoing it doing it undoing it and then just staring at it and I'm like okay this is boring I have no idea what I'm doing so I just stopped recording I kind of don't like showing um, Excuse me, I don't like showing, um, how am I, what am I trying to say? I don't like recording the placement of objects. I don't know, what am, why am I having trouble with this? So I don't necessarily show you how me decorating a room because 
I'm going to show it to you in the pictures anyway. Yeah? So what you basically get with my speed build is the build, if you get that at all. I know I only gave you a shell, but like I said, I just... I would have to chop through eight hours of footage because I started this yesterday well maybe around noon and I finished it up well after eight o'clock at night and it's such a tiny house you wouldn't think but oy. but I, I I'm not unhappy with this neighborhood I don't think it's that awful yeah this is the artist art artists oh this is Ulrich's room the artist and then the other side is Mikey but this is basically it I couldn't I want each their own bathroom and that didn't work out and I couldn't understand why there was only one bathroom in the whole house and it was on the second floor. So I gave them two. But it just, it wasn't, it wasn't going together right. It didn't look right and it was probably because, yeah, see that laptop I got rid of and gave her the ghostwriter. And then this stuff I took out. I hope I'm in, in time with the video. I gave her a bookcase and a place to sit and read. Maybe there's just so much on my mind that... Because I sound like I'm 89 years old. What was I doing just now? What? Where? <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> where am I? What's my name? Oi. So this is the full bath and then they got a little half bath downstairs. I went down the stairs the wrong way, by the way. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn around. So you're going to get a good look inside the staircase. I'm such a genius. All right, now this is where I take you on a little tour. Well, we go around the house first. This is the first garden that I liked. What I wanted to do, I think, originally was give them a patio here. And then I thought, well, why would I do that if they've got one on the side of the house facing the lake? But you know me, trying to get some place for them, <clears throat> excuse me, visitors to sit instead of coming in the house and touching all their stuff. And you know how I feel about this bird light. <laughs> I had to include it in the artist's house. I think it's cool. And it lights up. I think I also got rid of two of these um, art easels as well. I, I wanted to give them enough, you know, that they could share, but since there's only one artist, I took two of them away. I wish I had raised this up to two and gave, given them, uh, lifted the house. What is that called? I don't know. I'm mumbling, I'm sorry. So here, I'm going to take you on a quick, hopefully quick, tour of the neighborhood. I do hope you don't mind, and I apologize if you do. But it's a really, really pretty place, and I fixed the doom and gloom, gray, dull darkness, I think, because the sky is awful blue, and I do have seasons on. But I think I set MC command up too high because it asks for a number. And I'm like, I don't know. What do you mean number? What is this days? Is this hours? Is this sim days? Is this my days? There it goes. The sump pump. We have it all, folks. Crunking chair and a sump pump. It's too cold to have the window open so you won't hear any more geese flying by. But anyway, I put it on 100. And I have a feeling this is going to be 100 human days of sunny and warm weather. Not that it matters since I'm not playing them. Obviously, if I was playing the game, I would get rid of that so they could have normal weather patterns. 
but see it looks nice and this is an old it looks like I called it a ritualistic party haven but thank you so much for watching my video I really appreciate it have a wonderful day bye bye